Hi. Now, this video I'm continuing with the shooting the Tula 62 grain hollow point. And uh, now I'm going to try it with the Mossberg MVP, which is suppressed bulk action. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. It was dropping, the rounds are dropping pretty low in my 24 inch barrels. Um, by mm, six to eight feet low. And I think with um, eight inches less barrel here, I think it's gonna get even worse. Um, hopefully I can see some impacts out there. Uh, just gonna have to shoot and try and see if I can see anything, what's happening out there. So here we go. Now I'm gonna start off a little high and a little bit to the left. Oh, that was way low. <laughs> um, I think I have to get a little elevation on my front end. Because I'm going to have to, I'm, 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 I'm holding over a long ways. Okay, let's see if I can let's see over there. Go there. I didn't quite catch that one. Uh, nine power scope. It's um, hard to pick it out out there. So I'm going to try the same spot. See if I can spot it this time. No, I didn't spot that. And I think, you know, um, I'm losing to 240 feet per second probably uh, with it uh, eight inches less, you know. So uh, the impacts aren't very, very big out there. So they're really hard to spot. Really hard to spot, I'm not really seeing it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of move around a little bit. Hopefully it's find a, a, it, where it's hitting. I'm actually gonna come down lower to where the, it's, the dirt is whiter or lighter colored. And see if I get an, an idea where it's hitting. No, I didn't see that either. Yeah, I'm not sure this is even possible with, with this at this distance. Oh wait, I got some. Got a little bit of dust right there in the upper right corner it looked like at a box. Okay. So let's see if I can replicate that. So it's right about there. And that one hit low. So it's, it's better when I can actually see where it's sitting because I get an idea where to adjust to. And that one hit high. So it seems that with a shorter barrel, I'm getting a lot less consistency out of the ammo. Um, obviously, higher and lower is going to be faster or slower. So let me try here. Just above it. Just on the upper left edge. Oh, 
upper right corner. So at least I get in it down in there, it looks like. I was worried I wasn't going to get it close to it. Uh, it looked like the right side on the lower side of it. Whether it was inside or outside the box, I couldn't tell. And that one shot high. So you got some of them were, were like right there, but. Again, high. Huh. I don't know if that was a hit or not, but we'll have to look on the video. I know it was really close to that rock, on the bottom right corner of the rock. I'd, I'd be surprised if it hit it, but, you know, Sometimes luck comes into into play. And sometimes the bullet just happens to fall in the right spot. Two more rounds. Oh no though, I think it's doing, now that I got it settled down and I know where I'm hitting or aiming at, I seem to be doing pretty good. Except that one shot way high. See? Weird. But I didn't aim any higher. And that one shot low. Looks like this might be the last round. Uh, outside, lower right. Yep, that was the last round. So again, um, a thousand yards is a long ways for the 62 grain Tula. It can do it. You're not going to be super accurate. Um, of course, a thousand yards is a long ways for a 16 inch barrel also. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing... The limits of it, if not actually just going beyond what the rifle is really capable of doing. I mean, as you can see, they're hitting out there pretty far, um, pretty bad. Uh, it's not something that you would, you know, take into competition. But I'm just out here having fun and seeing what the rifle will do and what the ammo will do. So, uh, that's it. Just all in good fun. All right. Thanks for watching.